Hey, this is Jerry from Blizz Studio, and in this particular tutorial, we're going to add dust particles to our player whenever the foot touches the ground. So if you're ready to get walking, let's go. So here I am in Unity, and what I want to do is I want to add a puff of dust wherever the player walks. So the way we're going to do that is with a particle system, and we're going to have that attached to our player. So to do that, let's go ahead and with our player selected, I'm going to go ahead and right click and I'm going to create an effect. So I'm going to create a particle system. And then with that, there's the default particles, but I'm not going to use those because those really don't look like puffs of dust. So what I have currently over in Photoshop, I have just a little bit of a graphic. Let me just invert this so you can see. I just quickly sketched out just some rough uh, imagery that's going to be kind of a puff of smoke. And I just used a brush that was a little bit varied. So I have that saved as puff and I'm going to go ahead and bring that into Unity. So I'm going to bring that into my sprites. I'm just going to create a little folder for my particle effects and add that puff to it. Then I'm going to go into my materials and I'm going to create a new material. And I'm going to call this particle dust. Now I need to go ahead and change the shader. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the shader from a, a URP lit shader. We're going to go ahead and change this to a URP particles. And then in this case, an unlit shader. And then I've got a couple different things that I can do here. So one is I need to take that sprite that I have and I'm going to drag that over into my base map. Okay. Now I did make this graphic white. The reason I made it white is that I can turn it into any color in Unity if it's white. So let's go back over in Unity and you can see that I have a base map and then I also have a color, but I'm not going to set the color there. I'm actually going to set it over in the particle, but I do need to make this transparent. So by default, you can see the surface type is opaque, but we want to make that transparent. I'm going to go ahead and just blend mode as alpha. Everything else is good to go. So that particle is done. So with the particle system, we need to actually now attach that material. So I'm going to go down to my renderer. And then in here, you can see there's a slot for material. And by default, it has the particles unlit. And I'm going to go ahead and just take my particle dust drag that in and now you can see that my particles have now changed all right so let's go ahead and take these particles and make them actually look like dust so what i'm going to do is first i need to change the rotation of the particle systems currently right now it's all pushing out in the z axis and so what i want to do is i want to flip that up so the, the particles are going up so i'm going to go ahead and change the rotation on the x axis to a negative 90. There we go. So now it's starting to look a little bit more like smoke, but we're going to go ahead and change it here. So I'm going to go through, we're going to go ahead and leave this looping, which I think is fine. We're going to have a start lifetime. I'm going to change this to a random between two constants. And we're going to set the lifetime to be maybe 0.4 to maybe one. That is the lifetime of each single particle. So it's a random between those, those ranges, one. Then I'm going to also do the start speed. I'm going to set that a random between two constants. And I'll have the start speed be point maybe 1 to point 0.2. So I want those to be very, very slow. So it's just right down there by the feet. I'm also going to change the start size. So start size is a little bit big. So we're going to go ahead and change that a random between two constants. And we'll have this maybe be point 0.3 to point 0.5. Something like that. Yeah, that's starting to look a little bit closer like what we need it to look like. The other thing is I have the start color. And I'm just going to select a color that is close to the ground color. So I'm going to just use my eyedropper. And I'm just going to sample some ground color over here and maybe a little bit on the lighter side. So now my dust is more ground colored. So that's good. I'll go ahead and close that. The next thing is currently the particle system is really, really wide. So what I need to do is actually change the shape. So I'm going to go ahead and change the shape so it's right down just to the feet of the character. And we're going to do that with the radius. So we're going to take the radius all the way down to its minimum. And I think that's starting to look pretty good. The other thing that we need to do is these particles currently, because they're attached to the player, wherever those particles are created, they're actually going to move with the player. And we don't want that. We want those to actually live wherever they are were created at. So to do that, we're going to change simulation space from local to world. That way, as the character moves, those particles will be left behind. 
The other thing we want to do is we don't want these just to be continually generated. So what we're going to do is we're going to change emission from a rate over time of 10 particles per second. We're going to take that down to zero. And then we're going to actually make this a burst. So I'm going to go ahead and add a burst. And we only want there to be one particle. Every time there is a burst, it's going to generate one particle. Okay, so now those particles are being generated, but they're on screen. And what's happening is that they're on screen and then all of a sudden they just disappear. So dust isn't actually going to do that. It's going to kind of dissipate. So we're going to do a couple different things. We're going to add some modifiers down here in the bottom section. We're going to go ahead and one, add color over lifetime. So I'm going to select color over lifetime, open that up, go into the color there. And we want to choose the very top option. So this is a this is over time. So this is the very beginning of the life of the particle. This is the end life of the particle. We're going to take that from an alpha of 100% opaque to 100% transparent. So it's going to fade out over time. Now we're also going to choose to have the size over lifetime. So we're going to also choose to have that grow bigger over its life. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to start this to be a curve. And then I'm going to have the start of this be just a little bit bigger, something like that. So it's actually going to grow slightly over time. Now, currently the effect is really, really subtle. And these are one of the things that you can play with depending on what it is you want to do with this. All right, cool. So now we have the particles all set up. Okay, so now that we have that particle system done, what I want to do is I'm actually going to stick this inside of my model. The reason I'm doing that is because we have animation attached to that model and we can actually control the particle system with the animation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my particle system and I'm going to go ahead and just change the name of it real quick and we'll just call this dust. And I'm going to just drag it inside of my model. There we go. So now we have it inside. Now let's go over to our animation tab have walking and run. So what I want to do is I want to make sure that the dust is off when we are standing still, but then I all I want to use it when we are walking or running. So I'm going to go ahead and just turn it off by default. And then what I'm going to do is with the happy idle. So this is the idle state. I want to make sure it's off here as well. So I want to go ahead and hit record. And then I'm just going to click it on and click it off. And then you can see that red check mark and then it goes away and it's that box is still red that lets me know that there is a now there's now a keyframe for that property so you can see here dust it's showing that it's disabled so that way we know that it's disabled when we're in our idle state cool so let's go ahead and go to our walking state so in this very first frame let's go ahead and hit record and i want to choose to have my dust on and then the foot that was down at the beginning, I want to choose kind of where that lifts off at. So I want to stop that particle from playing. So maybe about there, I'm going to go ahead and turn that particle off. And then when the next foot hits the ground, right about there, I'm going to go ahead and turn that particle back on. And then do the same thing where our foot kind of lifts off the ground. I want to go ahead and turn that particle off. So every time the foot hits the ground, we're now going to play a puff of smoke. So I also need to do this in the running animation as well. So let's go ahead and go over to our running animation. And again, I want to go ahead and hit record. So the very first frame, I'm going to go ahead and turn that particle on. And then I just need to do, go through the same process where the foot lifts off the ground. I'm going to turn the particle off. And there we go. So let's give this a test real quick to see how it works. So if we're standing there, we do not see any dust. And if I'm walking, it's very subtle, but you now see a puff of dust every time the foot hits the ground. And the same thing for the running. Again, it's a very subtle effect, but it's exactly what you need for adding particle system to your run and walk. Hey, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial and something you can use for your game. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and that little bell icon down there so you know when the next tutorial is available. Until next time.